so picking up where i left off from my last video what i want to go into in this video is something called constructors now don't look at that word and feel scared or anything like that forget about anything you know about java and the only thing i want you to focus on is when when you write that buffer reader br is equal to new buffer reader blah blah new input stream reader blah blah system not in and all that stuff or when you create any object for that matter car c is equal to new car brackets and a semicolon when you do that what really happens when you write that new car when you write this what what exactly goes on inside of java now we all know how to call a method i've taught you that how to define your own functions and well we all know about that now what do you think is happening do you think that there is a method called car that's being called when you say this new car or do you think something else happens now you i want you to pause this video and give it a thought just a little bit of thought and once you're done if you're back here now and if you've thought about it there is no new method that's being called it's actually the constructor that's being called now what is a constructor some people might think of this as extremely daunting but trust me it's very simple what a constructor is is it's the first thing that's called when a class is created it's a special kind of of a function in a class and as you can see the constructor name is always the same as the class name so i'm going to write that down because you really need to embed that in your head constructor name is same as class name and if your constructor name is not the same as your class name you your program will not work now since we're working on blue j in blue j as you already might have seen all of our none of our programs had a constructor so the thing is in blue j if you don't write a constructor the java blue j inserts a constructor for you now that being said in the in some programs on like the icsc level they will ask you to define constructors and as you could have seen the buffer reader constructor was different from our own car constructor because the buffer reader constructor actually had something after the buffer dot dot dot, dot new again so which means that constructor took some parameter so there's two types of constructors there's a parameterized constructor and there is a default constructor now what's a default constructor a default constructor is a is one that doesn't take any parameters and it's a one that blue j puts in for you basically a constructor which you call with these empty parentheses and a parameterized one might have something in it so it's basically like if you have a method called public void add to add two numbers you can have a public void add bracket int a comma int b comma int c or you can just have int a comma int b so essentially that's what it is you can have an add like this a b c and i'm just leaving out the ints please do not write this in your exam or you can have an a and a b so you can see that you can have a constructor like this or like this you can even have an empty one like that and so a constructor essentially is a method but it's a special method it's a special member function and as i've already told you the name has to be the same as the class now something about constructor you should know it has no return type no return type so if you have say now how do you define a constructor if it has no return type just like you write a function it's just that our two rules no return type so this part is empty and the name is the same as the class so public car and we'll go into parameterized and non parameterized in another video as of now this is the default constructor now what is the use of a constructor 
well a constructor is useful because a constructor helps you initialize the values of the instance variable basically as soon as your object is getting created it's getting some predefined values it's getting a default state that is the framework for anything any additional change that may be made to its state or behavior through the variables or the methods which are called to work on those variables and if you got the last 30 seconds of what i said then you sir are a genius and you should definitely look at computer programming as a career option <laughs> and if you didn't don't worry about it in the coming videos i will make everything very clear with programming examples as of now this is the practical this is the easiest way i can explain it but once i start getting into the code it will make a lot more sense but i hope that you've been able to understand what a constructor is and what a method is why they're different what is an object all these aspects of object oriented programming they i what i want to demonstrate with this is i want to show you how beautiful code can be how vast and how different these three things and how what an impact they can have on a program that you're trying to write and the things you can do with it are well they they're unlimited but now an important thing that i want to show you before i finish off this video now what if i go ahead and let's say in my class which is called car i go and write something like this public void car what happens first of all the first question that comes into mind is is this legal to do yes it is you are defining a method and how do i know this is a method golden rule it has a return type so if it has a return type you know that it's a method if it doesn't then you know it's a constructor so if this is there if you have this void out here then you know it's a return type and it's just a method with which happens a really badly defined method i cannot stress on that enough it's a really poorly designed method poorly named method that has the same name as the class and essentially i would advise you to stay away from writing methods like this because the consequences of this when someone is reading your code could be really really dire and could cause your program to break now that being said you know the difference between a constructor and a method you can have a method with the same name as the class and how you differentiate is with that void keyword and that void can be any data type also basically it's a return type so that's about it for say constructors in this video and the main theme constructors objects these are very important concepts for object oriented programming and basically a constructor is is the, the is what should i say it's the helper to creating an object it's a helper to create objects so as you can see everything is linked in java now i'm going to leave you with that for this video and i hope you understood something out of it and even if you didn't stick on stick around watch my videos if you still don't get it post the comments send me messages add me on facebook i will try my best to help you out though i have exams coming up in a week i'll try to take time out to help anyone with any related queries so that's it for this video see you guys